Hello everyone, welcome to another lab session on digital signal processing using Scilab. So in today's lab, we are going to see how to do your FAR filter coding and then plot its magnitude response. So um, in previous lecture, we have seen a function called as WFAR, so which was your FAR design um, response using window technique. So that filter, you know, that function was used in order to uh, do your FAR filter. And uh, in today's lab, we are going to write the code for that WFAR, right? We can write the code for all, uh, all of it, but I'm going to show you how to do that WFAR from scratch because we have seen the derivations in our lectures, uh, lecture class. So uh, based on that class, I am uh, basing this code. So in the class, we have seen uh, these filters. We have seen your low pass filter derivation. You have, we have seen the high pass filter derivation and your low pass filter derivation is given as the sine cutoff frequency of n in divided by pi n. So we have derived this and your high pass filter is given by 1 by pi n sine upper cutoff of n minus lower cutoff of n. So in our high pass filter, this upper cutoff frequency is always pi because that is the extreme, that is the boundary for our uh, FIR symmetry filters which is uh, ranging from minus pi to plus pi. Okay, so it does high, high, uh, high pass filter always uh, ends at this position. So this will be always pi for your high pass filter. Now coming to our, the next filter is your band pass filter. So if I go to my slide six, I have the generalized band pass filter expression. So this band pass filter expression tells us me that my h of n is given by 1 divided by pi n into sine upper cutoff frequency minus sine lower cutoff frequency and your sine upper cutoff frequency in case of your band pass filter can be any value right including pi and when that value when this value becomes pi so when your upper cutoff frequency is pi and that is so that is where your band pass filter becomes a high pass filter for all other values of pi your band pass filter is using and it can be represented using this formula sine 3 pi by 4 n minus sine pi by 4 n good so this is how um, your band pass filter looks and now going to your band stop or band reject filter this is how the generalized formula looks it is sine pi n so it's like a, a complement of it's just doing like one minus band pass filter is your band stop filter and if we do it in uh, the in terms of the response h of n which is derived from h of omega so we get it in terms of the sinusoid so 1 by pi n of sine pi n minus sine upper frequency minus sine lower frequency of n so this is your band reject filter and these are the four filters we have your low pass filter high pass filter band so band pass filter and band stop filter there are, and then uh, we, we will see how to write these codes it's very simple and then uh, after that we'll be uh, looking going to our slide on windows so we'll be implementing this hanging windows hamming windows and your black band window. so we will be seeing the codes for these three windows along with your uh, four types of filters and then how we plot their magnitude response good so that is for today's lab session so let's come to that program so this program so it starts by clearing my space variables right so and your memory of scilab it's done next is today's um, okay so this is for today's class so i'm going to do all four of lpf uh, hpf uh, bpf and brf so band reject filter so the order of filter let's keep it as 11 and because that is what we have this design or we have discussed in our theory class so we'll keep n is equal to 11 and your lower cutoff, I'm going to keep it as pi by 4 and your upper cutoff is pi by 2. Good. So we need these two frequencies and let me start with my low pass filter. So let's um, go to this. So this is my low pass filter and my low pass filter is given by this formula. So if you see, this is my low pass filter. I, have, I can't do auto uncommenting with this. Okay, so this is my low pass filter. So your h of n is equal to 1 by pi n sine low cutoff. So let me just keep that formula there. So let's go to that slide quickly.
Yes, so this slide here. So I have implemented this formula. So if you see here, 1 by pi n sine log cutoff divided by pi n right, into n. And your lower cutoff is given by pi by 4. So this is how I have implemented this. And that is from 0 to n minus 1 by 2 because of the symmetry. This is from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. So or minus n minus 1 by 2 to plus n minus 1 by 2. So I have done it only for the positive half because the negative indexing is quite uh, not straightforward in Scilab or in, for any programming language. So we do it for this side and the other side is they're going to be exactly the same. So they are the, they're symmetric, so which means minus n minus 1 by 2 to 0 is also the same as 0 to n minus 1 by 2. Good. So that is your H of n. So I've done my H of n. So this is my low pass filter FIR, right? H of n. And after that, I am going to do our window. So I can do, let me uh, do this window. So I have uh, here, I have the codes for my Hanning window. Then I have a code for my Hamming window. And then I have the code for my Blackman window, right? So uh, let us uh, go to the slide for our, uh, ha let's say Blackman window. So we will do this Blackman window because it's already uh, here. So let us use this black man window. So you see the formula here 0 0.42 plus cos 2 pi n by n minus 1 plus cos 4 pi n Right, so 0 0.0. So exactly what you see here is what I have done in the form of a code and this is again n minus 1 by 2 So I can put it as n minus 1 by 2. That's gonna be 11 minus 1 by 2. That is fine. So it was the same. What it was I just given as 5. All right, so now that is our black man. And then after that, I'm going to take this window. So what is the equation? H of n into W of n. And that is exactly I'm doing here. So my black man window is W H. So I'm multiplying with H into W and that becomes this. Good. And for n equal to zero to five, H W of n plus one equal to H of n plus one dot star W H of n plus one. And that becomes your FAR window design representation, right? So this is an FAR filter now. And now uh, why I have this H of 1 is uh, we have seen in class because of the 0 by 0, your um, Scilab normally gives this value to be not a number. Okay, so I have um, here, if you see this um, slide on the right side, I put this uh, first value as NAN, that is because you get 0 by 0, because 1 by N, when N becomes 0, this whole thing becomes 0 by 0, and that is not a number, and we have to solve that using limits. And we do that with limits, so I have just put that first value, which is for N equal to 0, as 0 0.5. I'm just taking it as 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is fine, because you get anything like 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, you will get when you use the limit formula. So just assume that to be 0 0.5, there is slight uh, error uh, in values, but up to a standard for 0 0.5, what's fine. So I'm just going to keep that by default as 0 0.5. And all the other values I can take from my previous calculation. So this is my FIR low pass calculation. And then this is my black man window. And here I'm doing FIR into black man window. And then I get my FIR filter. And I'm going to plot the magnitude response using FR magnitude. So this is a Scilab function for doing your um, magnitude plot. We can write the code. So I have the code. So I have shown these codes, how to do the magnitude response code here. You see this is the Hanning window. I have done this example on the right side, you see, for Hanning window. And then I have shown them how to do the magnitude response. So the magnitude response, the FR mag code is also there in the lecture video. So I am not, because this is different for each filter. So for my low pass filter, I get a different set of equation. For my high pass filter, I get a different set of equation. This H equation is different for each filter. And we have done, I think, uh, we have done up to band pass. We have done low pass, high pass, and band pass coding in the theory class. So you can just refer it. And uh, for uh, our uh, lab practice, I'm just using this FR mag. FR magnitude gives me the magnitude response of my FAR HW low pass filter. 
and let me run this and let us see what I get as the output. So let me show you the output. Okay, so some error is there. Okay, two two one. I'll just make this as one two one and one two two. Okay, okay. F I R underscore F Q. Okay, this is just H Z M. I don't know where did that come from. Okay, let's set up. Okay, good. So now I can get yes, I got. So this is your low pass filter. This is your low pass filter uh, in um, omega, and this is in dB. Good. So this is in the frequency, and this is in the dB. So I've given a hundred points. So I've just I've chosen this to be a hundred points. So you have a hundred transition. Good. This is your low pass filter with black man window. So this is your black man window. So I can change this window. You can see here this shape will differ. So let me just um, comment this and let me go to my um, which code I use, Hanning code. So let, let's go for a Hanning window and uh, let me uncomment this here and comment section. Okay, and then I am running this, and you see there is some slight difference in the slope. Good. So that is for your hamming. So this is the for, this is the equation for your hamming window. Good. And now I have a function. So I have a function called as window. So this is a Scilab function, which you can use Scilab window function for hamming and handing. So you can use this for both when you use the variable hn so that is your handing window and when you use it as uh, hm that is your hamming window. You can use the window function so I'm just introducing that here but we have the code so and this is your handing window for low pass window. Good? Done. So now uh, I will show you the next filter. So let me go to commenting, it's not a problem. So let's go to your high pass filter. So this is my high pass filter. So I'll comment this. So one by pi n sine pi minus sine lower cutoff, right? So that is the formula for your, um, sorry, this one. Yes, high pass filter, this, pi minus lower cutoff, this one. So let me plot this and you get your high pass filter here. This is your high pass filter magnitude response. So this is all about plotting the magnitude response for high pass filter. Then your band pass filter, let me go here, uncommon and then plot yes you're getting your bandpass filter now this is your bandpass filter magnitude response good see the equation so upper cutoff minus lower cutoff and then your band reject filter that is one by pi n so i'm just putting those equations i just shown you previously i'm just uh, doing those things here and then I'm getting the band reject. So your band reject is gonna be a V-shaped filter. Good, so that is how you plot. So we have seen the question, you know, we have seen the uh, code for writing your H of N, and then I have written, I know I have the, I have the code for all three windows, Hamming, Hanning, and your black man window. Then after that, you're multiplying that. So that is your FAO window design. So you take your FAO filter, you multiply with that window, and that is your FAO window design. And after you multiply that, you have a working FAO. So what you do is you plot the magnitude response using your fr mag function. Like I said, the code for fr mag is given in my lecture classes because I have used uh, low pass filter because it's distinct for low pass, high pass, and band pass. So you have to write three separate uh, loops for three filters to show three filters. That's why I'm not keeping that here. Uh, you can go to my class problems and see how we can write the code for your fr magnitude and do the logarithmic representation. That is db representation by taking 20 log of the magnitude all right so that uh, should 
make it clear on FAR. So these are the two programs we have for FAR in Scilab and I'm pretty sure after this um, you should be um, having a good knowledge on how to do your FAR filters and how to program it and how to run it and how to use it on different signals.